Do you miss Kylie? Nah, I'm good. I'm good, love and joy. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Ashton Shanae. Welcome back to The Juice. Now, child, I was on Apple Music, minding my business being nosy, when I come across the fact that Nicki Minaj ended her feud with Tiger just to get him on her radio show and talk trash about Kylie and her baby daddy, Travis Scott. Now, speaking of Apple Music, and we'll get back to Nicki, Kylie, and Tiger in a minute, but right now, let's talk about my guy, Sean Bradley. Now, this man done went and made him a little bop and put me on the hook of the song and the song is called palm tree and of course i'm on there singing not a little shade but a lot now y'all already know i ain't the best singer in the world but i loves me some messiness and if y'all are familiar with sean y'all know he loves to be shady so putting me on the hook singing not a little shade but a lot and naming the song palm tree fits us perfectly now, child, trust me when I tell y'all Sean was being real shady in this song. And I ain't telling y'all what I think. I'm telling y'all what I know. Y'all know I mind my business. So go on over to Apple Music, iTunes, Spotify, wherever else you can find it. And I will be putting some links down below in the description box. Y'all go listen and support and tell me what y'all think about it. Okay? Now back to this Nicki Minaj and Tiger Juice. Okay, baby child, back to the messiness. Now, many of y'all already know that Nicki Minaj has her own radio show on Apple Music, and she gets messier and messier every time. And that's just the way I like it. Now, let me give y'all a little background on what happened. Nicki Minaj and Tyga have been beefing for about five years over a song. Tyga used to date Kylie, who now has a baby from rapper Travis Scott. Travis Scott's album came out a week before Nicki's album did. Even so, he got the number one spot on Billboard, and she got the number two spot. And she went on a rant on Twitter saying that it was because of Kylie and Stormy advertising that they were going to be at the concert to come see them. Well, anyway, child, Nikki basically ended her five-year feud with Tiger to get him to come on her radio show and then expose Kylie about her past. Take a look. Yo, what up? Hola! The number one motherfucking lit radio show in the world. Ah! <laughs> you heard it from Tiger himself, Larry Jackson. Understand. You understand. You understand. He said the no- You know what? Shut up. <laughs> uh, hey, Tiger, how are you, boo? I'm really good. I'm in the studio yeah, right now. Okay, yeah. On Queen Radio, so it's lit. I appreciate you for showing the show love, Tyga. One of the real niggas that don't care to show Queen Radio love. I don't care because I've been in the dark. I had my fucker turn it back on me, and I got back up. So it's lit. You know so, what I'm saying? By the way, uh, I'm proud of you. Um, you're doing pretty good. You are on Billboard Hot 100. To me, that's all I motherfucking care about. Are you on the Billboard Hot 100? <laughs> Motherfuckers, don't Big talk call. to me. Don't talk to me if you ain't on pill poor hot one motherfucking hundred, nigga. Kidding. What we talking about? Mm-hmm. Now, Tiger, the last time I spoke to you, we had a huge argument where I hung up the phone on you and screamed and yelled because you put out your own version of truffle butter. And I, you, me, and Drake were going between each other yelling and screaming, and you were saying you didn't leak it, and Drake was telling me he didn't leak it, and I was like... Fuck you, Tiger! Ah! And, um, because there was a version of Truffle Butter with you and, uh, Molly Mall and someone else, I think, or Drake, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and we, and I fell out, I haven't spoken to, with you for years because of it. Yeah, and I just, and I ate it, I ate the L. Even though it wasn't me that leaked it, I wouldn't do that to you, but I ate the L, and I was like, you know, it's gonna come back. Who you know leaked it, Tiger? Um... I'm unsure, but it had to be the other two people on the record. That wasn't me and Drake, because it wasn't me. And I only sent it to one email. Oh, so you mean not you or Drake, but possibly Molly Mall and someone? Who else was on the song? 
Kid Heat. I don't even know who oh, the Kid other Heat? artist is on the song. Oh, yeah. I don't know who who is Kid Heat. I don't even know who that. I don't even know who that is. So. Okay, got it. Definitely not me, but you know. Okay, well, it's good to clear that up. Um, yeah. Now, are you banging? Are you banging a lot of hoes right now? I'm banging a lot of bitches with blue checks. But see, I don't kiss and tell. I, I don't kiss and Good, tell. real niggas don't. Silent assassin. Real yeah, niggas don't. Kiss. Now, do you miss Kylie? Nah, I'm good. I'm good at love and joy. Um, do you feel like you helped at all? In putting Kyle's on the mid app? Big facts. No cap. Everybody know that. That's that's public. Like 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 headline shit, when you pointed it out, that's public. We ain't gonna run from that, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't everybody know, knows. But a lot of men say stuff like that, Tyga. I mean, you know, what the See, I always gotta rep for I'm my a- women. I gotta play devil's advocate because a lot of men say stuff like that. And they say things like, oh, if it wasn't for me, no one would know about you, or I put you in a ma-. But what about all the work that this person is doing as well for their career? Uh, how right. d- well, I, well, I will, well I, what I would say about this, and I never spoke about it to anybody, but I'll speak about it to you, um, is that if you got to look at the before and after, you know what I'm saying? She always had a platform, and she was always destined to be what she was going to be regardless. But when I stepped in, and it was a lot of codes being taught, it was like... You, should, you can do this. You should start this. You should start doing your hair like this. Or you wow. should do this. You, you should adapt because you need you need black people to fuck with you because you need culture. Just, if you ain't got black people behind you, you ain't got nothing. There ain't nobody going to listen. You can't influence nobody. So I had a lot to do with all that. You know what I'm saying? Which I don't need credit for. I don't need to go online and tell people, like, I did this and I'm the one that helped her coming up with these colors on her, uh, colors and names on her, on her, um, what is it? The lip, the lip line thing yeah and then like all this it was a lot of stuff but it's like I'm not that bitter type of person because God is gonna pay me back the universe is gonna pay me back and, mm. and people are seeing what's happening now so I'm not a bitter person that's like if we break up we break up we had a good time and we kept moving we kept you know we went our separate ways and we both doing good you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. and I like that you you know you say what you say but you don't speak negatively uh, I just think it's important that when men break up with women especially powerful women, that they don't end up looking bitter. I just don't like anyone looking bitter in a breakup because you will always have good times and you can't dispute that. Um, But I do think, you know, your truth is your truth. Um, And so I'm glad that you shared that. Now, what do you think about Travis Scott? I think it's... Wait, hold on, Tiger. Hold on, Tiger. Hold on, Tiger. Cause you know he was a recipient of an award up here the other day. Let me ask it again. So what do you think her. of Travis Scott? And all them sweaters he's been we, selling. We ain't got no beef. We ain't got no beef. You know what I'm saying? It's his time right now. You gotta let him. You gotta let it rock. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no beef for him. What do you think about his? But, uh... but shit, but shit, but shit. Queen album. Queen album. <laughs> Number one in my book. industry works and I'm sure you were one of those men like Chance the Rapper and many other people who understood exactly what I was saying regarding those sales and how yeah. and how and how it's a lot of funny business going on uh, were you understanding what I was speaking on 1000% okay. you know what I'm saying but it's like you know, if you look back in the day, like Prince was doing this shit when he was, he was selling concerts and selling albums with concerts. With, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But like that wasn't brought to the forefront. And then you know, it just needs to be. It needs to. It needs to be like separated. People need to know because all these numbers, people, fans, all the all these fans are doing is seeing numbers. When it's, yeah. when it's really about the product, it's about the the core fan base. It's about all that, like the story of the album. And, and, and what these labels are doing and what people behind the scenes are doing, they just drive the numbers and they just confusing you and shit. And you're just like, you know what I'm saying? Like trying to persuade your opinion on what's better. And, and it's like, it's a lot of sorcery going on. But yeah. you know what? All that shit's about to stop because people like you, 
you know what I'm saying, myself, like, that are in position and actually have a huge voice, and we realizing that, that we ain't got to stand down. I'm going to yes. say what I feel. Yes. You ain't going to stop me. Yes. And that's the LeBron, thing. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And I think they think that, you know, the problem is that if a person says to you long enough, oh, you look bitter, you look crazy, you look angry, then it's going to make you not want to speak anymore. And and be and if I didn't have Queen Radio, it would have been Nicki Minaj does a week of uh, radio shows, and um, and now you know her voice is taken from her, and now people are free to create whatever narrative they want to create. But now with my own radio show, you can't do that, cause I'm bringing it to any and every fucking body because it's not fair. Like it's not right to be lying and to be putting out smear campaigns against a a, a woman who's just saying, hey, guess what, y'all? Something isn't fair, and it's in my own workplace, and I'm allowed to speak on it, okay? And that's all. Um, so I, I just want to thank you for um, speaking on that, and um, get get the Tiger record up. Um, and we're going to play the record. Um, I think it's, what, top 10 on the Billboard Hot 100 right now, um, if I'm not mistaken. Yikes. Yikes. Independent, too. Independent. Independent. No, because I was just going to ask you, You were, are, are you still signed to Kanye? I was told, I was never signed to Kanye. Never. It was supposed to be a management deal. Mm. Uh, and, you know, I just, it was, you know, at the time it made a lot of sense. But, you know, when I broke up with, uh, okay. when I broke up with Kanye, it, was just, it didn't, you know what I mean? So, mm. but, yeah, right now everything is independent. I'm doing it with, with um, Empire. I got a great team over there to help me. So, Gazi, shout out to Gazi. And yeah, it's lit. You know what I'm saying? I could record a song and put it out tomorrow with a video. Like, I don't know what I want to do. I'm just, it's lit right now. You so, know what so good music uh, was basically man. You were basically signed to good music as management, kind of. Yeah, management. It's gonna be a management thing. Oh, so how he did? How he? So like how Jay has Rock Nation. Right, it was like that type of situation. Oh, see, I didn't know yeah. that. I had no yeah, so, clue. Yeah, so it was going to be a management thing. And it made sense at the time, but like, I'm like, well, if you're going to be hands-on, if you're going to be putting me on tours, if you're going to put me on songs, if you want to give me that platform, then it makes sense, but, you know. But if not, then not. Yeah, we was over there giving a lot of codes. I, I just talked to Ye yesterday, matter of fact, for a minute on the phone, so... Mm-hmm. There's a lot of shit going on, but it's all about the voice, and I like what you're doing Thank with you. your radio show, and you got to keep, and number one, number one, don't listen to nobody. Do what you feel, because at oh, the end yeah. of the day, it's your face, and it's, it's you that's going to be having to deal with it. You know? Right, right. Well, realest, one of the realest phone calls we've had up here on Queen Radio, so I really appreciate you, and I and I genuinely wish you the best. Um, oh, what do you want to say about the whole hairline thing? Yeah, now, people, wait, hold on. Be, cut his mic off before. No, no, Look, keep no, my mic on. I got to know what's going on I will hang up. I will hang up. Be Don't quiet. Hang up. Be Don't quiet. Hang up. Hang up. Cut his mic off. Nope. Shush. Now, now look. People thought that I said that whole hairline thing and you, and this was a secret. Can you let people know that that was never a secret you were keeping? Like, you were fine with showing, because people saw how your hair was before and they see that it's great now. Was that ever a secret? No, it's never a secret. I never was trying to keep it a secret, you know? Thank you. And I actually, and I actually tweeted and I actually gave the plug out. So, like, I'm actually <laughs> trying to help people. <laughs> so, Gene, I think, so is like, looking. <laughs> I just want to know if it's a lace front or is it a paint on? Like, I just got nah, uh, no, We don't do paint ons, my nigga. No, no, you uh, don't. Nah, we don't do that. But you know what? Your shit, if you got it, it ain't going to look as good as mine because, you know, my shit is mixed, so it might not look the same. <laughs> my hair is. <laughs> <laughs> That reminds me. <laughs> Listen, what? let me tell you something. Tiger just threw out the mix card. Gene, <laughs> are you? Is, see, that's what I was saying, Tiger. So sometimes when them knit apps falls out, you know they can't compare it to you. So I don't want them to go paying that money and thinking that they shit is gonna be intact like yours. That's all I was saying. 
no tiger slander shall be tolerated. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. It's Tiger. He got the illest hair we've gone. I'm proud of him. It's not a weave. This is real. You know, shut, get, take his um, mic off. Um, but it's real here, and it looks good. So goodbye, everyone who thought I was, like, putting someone on blast. I'm not like that, y'all. I'm not a mean person. So, um, but Tiger, thank you. And you know what? I said it was karma. I said your hairline didn't fall back out because of good good karma. So you know what? Keep it pushing. Shout out. We're going to get into the record right now. We'll be right back, y'all. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Well, child, y'all know my ass my business, and I'm gonna do just that. I want y'all to tell me how y'all feel about this situation down in the comments. Who was right and who was wrong in this situation? Tell you the truth, I don't care who was right or who was wrong in the situation. I just want them to keep coming with the messiness. Y'all know what I'm saying? Y'all know what I'm saying? Moving on. Well, I'm definitely going to need you guys' opinions in this situation because y'all know I don't get into other people's business like that. Well, we're about to be out of here, but before we go, we want you guys to leave us a like. And remember to subscribe to our channel for the juiciest gossip commentary around. And don't be shy. Leave us your opinions in the comments. Good, bad, or indifferent. I love them all. And with that being said, you guys, we are out of here.